Consider for a moment going through life breathing through a straw. That makes even the smallest tasks challenging. But tonight in this WFAA original, Sonia Azad reminds us that our bodies are stronger than we think. I actually started practicing about four years ago. At age 40, Selwa Mitchell's body moves in ways that most of us will never feel. I do meditation through movement, and your brain doesn't think about anything, or your mind doesn't think about anything for um, a few minutes. For Selwa, this is freedom from cystic fibrosis. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at the age of three. It takes over your lungs, but not only that, your whole body. Doctors expected the genetic disease to deteriorate Selwa's body fast, she wasn't supposed to live past age seven. Here I am, 40. <laughs> Years Selwa's body has fought for. Even when she met the love of her life and married him, it meant fighting a lifetime of brushes with death. It was day by day, hour by hour, second by second. Um, you couldn't get too far ahead of yourself. You know, you had to really be in the moment. Every moment became extraordinary, like when Isabella was born and four years later, the arrival of Mitchell. But there's a limit. You know, I let them know that their mom was very, very sick. To even the strongest person's strength. Headed to the hospital, feeling strong, my heart is at peace. The lungs Selwa was born with were dying. Here I am at 22% lung function, I can barely breathe, but I could get on my mat and um, I could find my handstand, my headstand, and I, you know, I just, Knowing that my body could still do that, I knew I still had a chance. Selwa's only hope was a double lung transplant, a gift she would receive from an 18-year-old donor in June of 2016. In a few short months, heartbreak. Selwa's body was rejecting the donor lungs. She was breathless and at times hopeless. I'd be laying on my deathbed thinking of all the last times. You know, that was my last time to take her to school. That was my last time, you know, to help them brush their teeth. So I was just in my mind um, living through all my last times. Her body was shutting down, but her spirit was on a different path. And I'm fighting to breathe, to talk, to live, and I had to get back onto the transplant list. That's not easy. A lot of doctors wouldn't perform a risky second double lung transplant. Selwa was just too sick. My kidney shut down. I had a heart attack. I had a stroke, liver failure, lung failure. Her husband, Scott, had an idea. I wanted to connect the doctors with a person and a family and a strong woman, not just a patient lying in a hospital bed. He wallpapered Selwa's hospital room with photos. As soon as I did that, the next time a doctor or a nurse walked in was the first thing that I went to. They saw the strength in her and how strong her body is and her light that just shines through her. I think it kind of rallied the troops. Doctors responded to that and so did Selwa. In the days ahead, her heart grew stronger she got back on the transplant list. Less than a full year later, Selwa's third pair of lungs are allowing her to live life in a way that's simple and familiar to us, but something she's never experienced. Which it's kind of nice to take that deep breath when I start thinking about it. Look how far you've come. No more wheelchairs or oxygen tanks. She can walk her dogs, yeah. drive her kids to school. Ah. And while she still has to take 50 pills every day, Selwa can practice yoga now with her full breath. I've had two lung transplants and I still have to be reminded to be thankful for my breath. I mean, your body is capable of so much. Your body is so strong. Just take a deep breath and, and, and say thank you. Sonia Azad, Channel 8 News. It's incredible. Well, in the last three decades, life expectancy for people with CF has grown to age 50. We have a link to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation with this story. You'll find it at WFAA.com.